Hello and welcome to day number six in our trip to Japan. Today we're going to go to Kyoto and we just got back from Hakone. So we're leaving Hakone, going to Kyoto. And if you haven't seen the Hakone video, we'll link that down in the description below. We also have a few Tokyo videos before that. We got up pretty early when we left Hakone, so we'd have a little bit more time in Kyoto. You're so cool. I want the blue one. They got pencils, they got a fork. I like that one. Mm. I love all this stuff, it's cool. Oh, well, these are the romance cars, not the shoe Chopsticks. I thought they were the shoe cops. What does the shoe cops even look like? Does it look like that? I don't know. Those little watches. I bet that would fit my wrist. Not a peanut butter sandwich. It is more like a mousse. And Haley does not like it. She hates it. It took about three hours on the Shinkansen to get there from Odawara Station. We were traveling at speeds around 150 miles per hour, but you really couldn't feel it. We of course had to buy some snacks for the ride. This is one of the few times it's okay and not rude to have food on a train. First up, milk tea. This is one of my top drinks. The next one was the ham and egg sandwich on a croissant, which was an interesting change. Eat these things at your own risk. I was expecting cherry flavor or some sort, but it was a burst of vinegar that caught me way off guard. I couldn't recall exactly what this was called, but I got this from Hakone. It was some sort of sweet having a bean paste. Maybe that's an egg in the middle. And finally, just a simple lime bar type pastry. Oh, and be sure not to stab people with your umbrella or be wide on this escalator like this manta ray. We got off at the Fushimiya Nari station, which is right next to the Fushimiya Nari shrine.
The shrine sits at the base of a mountain, also named Inari, which is 233 meters above the sea level, and includes trails up the mountain to many smaller shrines which span 4 kilometers and take approximately 2 hours to walk up. Orange archways you see are called Tori Gates, and they are found at the entrance or within a Shinto shrine where it symbolically marks the transition from the mundane to the sacred. We got here in the afternoon since we had to travel from Hakone. As you can see, it gets very busy in the afternoon and evenings. So if you are looking to get a nice picture, I would suggest going early in the morning. We actually do that in a future video. There are a lot of places you could step aside and get a picture. Others decided to take pictures on the main path, and we learned we couldn't stop for everyone. So unfortunately, you just have to be a little rude here. It does start to thin out near the top, but that means there's more steps to take. We finally reached the crossroads, which isn't the top, but it's the highest spot to get a good picture. There's ice cream. Ooh. 
past the crossroads there are even less people. finally reached the top of the mountain, and to our surprise you couldn't really see much because of the surrounding trees. Which is why a lot of people just stop at the crossroads. I figured you'd be able to see from the Once at the bottom, we got pretty hungry, so we decided to grab some street food. We got lemonade and some chicken. We stayed at the Hotel Gentle Fox, which we'll link in the description below. Oh, hallway. Another hallway. Oh, a long hallway. A washer and an dryer. Got a little toaster, microwave, and fridge. Sink and ooh, even a range coffee machine, yeah, a lot bigger than the last one. Pajamas, a bunch of stuff I can't read. Pretty sure this is a flashlight. Yep, I'll get back to that. Closet space with a safe. Whoa. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Is this automatic? Or my bottle? The light switch right there. Wow. Yeah, this is way bigger than I thought.
Hmm. I actually got a tub here. Oh, that's pretty deep. That's like knee high deep for me. That's a weird looking shower head in the world. Okay. That was going to be on top. That would have been ridiculous. Hmm. A lot of stuff here. Toothbrush, razor, hairbrush, amenity set. Uh, some kind of plastic bag, no idea. A hair ring. <laughs> and a body towel. So it looks like we got this weird room right here. The long hallway. Huh. That's interesting. It was time to make our way towards our dinner which was going to be some A5 Wagyu beef. Nearby was the Gion district, so we decided to walk around and check that out. So the night was coming to a close, it was time to head over to our dinner reservation, which happened to be in the basement. We'll link in the description below where we ate at, but you had to get reservations ahead of time, otherwise you wouldn't get in. Which one is it? Yeah. This one? Started off with some kushikatsu, which is basically deep fried food. I got set C here on the menu. Next one, kushiage, set C. Okay, octopus, asparagus, shrimp, and onion, and the scallop. Pretty tasty sauce. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Octopus. Oh my. 
Oh my goodness. I like it without the credit. It's like a ribeye, but like 10 times better. What? Well, it's got. I <laughs> Why is it more? Because of heat. It looks like. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like and subscribe us so you can watch our next video on Hiroshima. And until next time, thanks for traveling with Was Traveling.